Hi guys, thank you for joining in today. Um, today's trick is really nice and simple. It's something that I call Dizzy Dog. Um, and it basically involves your dog circling around your legs um, to the left hand side and to the right hand side. So for this trick, you're going to have a bunch of cookies in both of your hands and basically start out with your dog in a standing position, stick the cookie on their nose and gradually pull the cookie around the back of your legs. Your dog should automatically want to follow you to be able to get to the cookie. What you may find is that a lot of the time your dog might be a little bit confused if you have both of your hands in their face. So while you are directing the dog around your body with one hand, try and either lift up your other hand or keep it behind your back and this just makes it a little bit easier for your dog to understand oh, okay I'm following this hand this is the one that's going to be rewarding me so if your dog has a nice steady weight command it's also a good challenge to have them sit in this command and wait for you to release them and then carry out the behavior with them again we want to practice our left and right hand side and it might also be a fun idea to get someone to hold on to your dog and then call them into the position as well just to get the rest of the family involved. What you can see I'm doing over here with Ollie is I'm not using cookies because she's a little bit more fanatical about her ball. So basically as I would with Charlie and using the cookies I'm now just replacing that with a ball and simply just releasing the ball in the natural movement of the game itself. So if you guys find that you are battling with this one, a good way to rectify any kind of problems and make sure that your dog is coming in and close around you is to kind of also manipulate your environment. So instead of standing out in an open spot, go and find a corner in your house where you can do this and literally give your dog about half a meter, a little bit more depending on their size between yourself and the corner of the wall. And what basically happens is that the two walls now act as a guide rail for your dog to simply pass through. Once you guys have mastered the left and the right, we can now get into something a little bit more tricky. This is something that I'm trying to do with my own dogs, and what I'm trying to get them to do is to basically do the circling movement, but going backwards. So I'm approaching this the way I would also approach the forward driving movement, but instead of allowing my dog to take as many steps before getting a cookie when he was moving forward, I'm now literally going to release a cookie for him, literally even taking one or two steps backwards. Because we are in the beginning stages of this trick, I am using the corner of a wall as well. I just find it also helps to make it a lot clearer for the dog. And what you'll see when you look at the examples as well is that I'm using my hand to kind of coax them in an around and about way just so that it helps to kind of get them into the correct position. And as with everything in dog training, I do not expect it to be 100% perfect all of the time. Um, what I simply do is I just ignore the stuff that I don't like and I really, really reward what I do like. And in so doing, we're not making the dog discouraged by anything that we're attempting to do, but rather just pointing him in the right direction about what we want and how we actually want them to do it. And guys, just a good thing to always remember, um, not all dogs learn in the same way, not all dogs learn in the same amount of time, so really base it upon what your dog is doing and see how you can help them specifically. They each have their own styles, they each have their own flares, so if it means you having to move around a little bit more or using your legs to kind of guide them, that's absolutely fine, as long as they're having fun in the game. Yay! Well done, Charlie, good boy. So here you can see I'm just doing the same example with Ollie as well. Um, but basically you guys can see as her head is turning out, she's getting a cookie. And as her bum is closer to me, she's getting another cookie for that. So really small, small steps. She's getting a heck of a lot of food in one session. She hasn't had breakfast this morning, so this is how she's going to get it. But basically you really want to mark those small little milestones and make a big deal out of it. As soon as they know that they've done something right, they are going to emulate that action again. So be forthcoming with your treats, be forthcoming with your prayers and quick sticks your dogs are going to get it. So from Ollie, Charlie and myself, good luck with this one guys, it, it really is quite a good challenge and it is one for the dogs to do as well. Bear in mind this trick is called Dizzy Dog, so keep your practice periods nice and short and really just be really forthcoming with your treats, they're going to have an absolute joy with this one.